6 weather forecast. And our drought continues to expand here in South Texas as well. We're not immune to anything at all. And as we take a look at the latest U.S. Drought Monitor Index that was a release yesterday, it still shows that drought is expanding for us here. But just a year ago, we weren't seeing a whole lot. In fact, we had a no drought across the region. And then as you see the six months ago and the three months ago a graphic there, you see the drought just continuing to expand and expand with no rainfall in the forecast. So here's a bigger look at the current U.S. Drought Monitor as uh, most of Nueces County and into our northern and coastal counties under extreme drought and even our inland counties are anywhere between uh, moderate to severe out there and again with no meaningful rainfall in the forecast this is just going to continue to get worse as we press forward and here's one of the big reasons why obviously we only had a few showers yesterday one or two folks maybe benefited from that we're 9.31 inches below normal for this time of year officially out at the airport and the lake levels continue to drop as well with the combined capacity as of yesterday morning at 38.1% and uh, this will update later on this morning and I have no doubt that will uh, drop probably drop to about 38% maybe even a little bit lower than that. Right now though 79 degrees a light south southeasterly wind at 6 miles an hour 70s and 80s are basically dominating the entire coastal bend with our seawater temperature coming in at 87 as well. This morning we are still seeing a few little showers hugging the coastline and pretty much just uh, flirting with us and uh, not doing a whole lot more than that benefiting some fish out in the water, but that's just about it. There's a weak frontal boundary up in North Texas that's creating a temperatures into the 60s. There a nice cool start, a little bit of some shower activity up in Amarillo, but that's as far as that's going to go. This is already running into the upper level high pressure system over the southeast right now, and a lot of that beneficial rain going to stay up towards the north, but there's a weak upper level disturbance into the central Gulf of Mexico that's going to be pushing in our general direction uh, over the next couple of days, and as it does so, it'll increase our tropical moisture here we could see a little passing sea breeze shower throughout today and on into tomorrow as well. But as we head towards a Sunday afternoon, notice the amount of moisture in the Gulf. This is not going to be raining all over the Gulf. Uh, we could see a couple of little showers near the coastline that will begin to push into the inland areas by Monday afternoon. But again, only isolated in nature for us here as even the seven day rainfall potential from the Weather Prediction Center. Not all that optimistic. A lot of this green that you see here is only a hundredth of an inch of rainfall accumulation going to be possible. So we'll watch things closely for you and hopefully fingers crossed to get one of those showers. Hour by hour forecast already takes us into the mid to low 90s. By midday, we'll see southeasterly winds at 15 to 25. Full look at the seven day forecast takes us to 96 today, 77 and 98 for tomorrow. Hazy sunshine out there with that Saharan dust and then those straight isolated showers late Sunday on into Monday and then we crank up the heat and wind again as we head towards the middle of next week.